Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and a lot has happened today. The Verizon iPhone 4 was finally announced, and it will be shipping on February 10th. So I'm just going to briefly go over that, because that is definitely the biggest news in a long time for everybody who doesn't already own an iPhone and is on Verizon. So here is this one post. I will link you guys to it. The title is, Apple iPhone 4 finally lands on Verizon. Here's everything you need to know. So I'm just going to go over it really quick. It's going to feature the same exact 5 megapixel camera with HD video recording. It's also going to have FaceTime, a retina display, A4 processor, App Store, basically every single thing that the iPhone already has on AT&T. And it will go on sale on February 10th, as I mentioned before. And uh, you can get it in 16 and 32 gigabyte models on a two-year contract. 16 gigabyte for $199 and 32 gigabyte for $299. And you will be able to pre order February 3rd. Also, something that Verizon's doing that ATT might do. AT&T said that they were evaluating it, but they definitely won't make their decision today or probably anytime soon, is the mobile hotspot feature. So I'm just going to show you guys that really quick, then I'm going to move on to the main topic of this video. So here is a close-up picture of the personal hotspot in a Verizon iPhone 4. So basically it's just inside of the settings application and you turn on personal hotspot and you can either connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your mobile hotspot that you create with your iPhone 4 on Verizon. Now you will be able to connect up to five devices for it and I do not think it costs money. They haven't said whether it will or not or whether it's included in the contract. That is still to be determined. Determined, but like I said, AT&T has still yet to respond, so that's going to be a really nice feature for the Verizon iPhone 4 users and probably the only feature that's better than AT&T because uh, supposedly AT&T's iPhones are going to be faster as far as uh, 3G speed goes, but I'm not going to cover that because the main topic that I'm going to be talking about and that the video is titled after is this one right here. So the title is Comex will not wait for iOS 4.3 or 4.2.5 running on the Verizon iPhone 4 to release his jailbreak. So an Italian website emailed Comex saying this, and I quote, so, if Apple releases iOS 4.2.5 on February 10th, you'll preserve your news tool, which should probably be new tool, and exploits for that firmware. Maybe this will be a good move. Dev Team and Chronic Dev are releasing their tools for iOS 4.2.1. Your can be saved for the future, which probably should mean yours can be saved for the future, and they're probably referring to the untethered exploit. And then they said, anyway, thanks, Comex. And Comex replied and said, I hadn't seen that interesting dash dash, but a month's a long time to wait. And it's obviously sent from my iPhone. Basically, what that means is that he will most likely release it in the next coming week or two weeks or sometime before the Verizon iPhone 4 launch and sometime before iOS 4.3, if iOS 4.3 comes out at all. I hope you guys like this video, just letting you guys know what was up as far as the untethered jailbreak goes and Comex's version of it. And also just giving you guys a brief overview of the new Verizon iPhone 4. So hope you guys like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is ICU signing out.